Tonight, the search for clues continues in a murder mystery in an upscale Montgomery County suburb. And a writing scribbled down in a plain marble composition notebook could become a crucial piece of evidence. It is Monday night. Monica Malpass is off. Anita Brickman is joining us. And the big story on Action News this evening is the search for the killer of a Whitpane Township man. He was shot to death inside his home at 291 West Mount Pleasant Avenue Sunday morning. Police say he was asleep in his bed when it happened. Action News reporter Vernon Odom is live at Whitpane Township Police with the latest details tonight. Vernon. Rick, police have now ruled out a home invasion as a motive for the weekend murder of real estate developer Jerry Morton. Now they believe domestic turmoil inside the home may have triggered this killing. The central focus is now on Morton's widow. For a second day in a row, detectives searched the home of murder victim Jerry Morton, a real estate developer who was shot to death in his bedroom overnight Sunday morning. At first, his wife told police she was sleeping next to him when she was awakened by gunshots and saw a man fleeing. But police found no evidence of forced entry, and the investigation quickly focused on Morton's wife, Myra. A 40 caliber handgun has been recovered inside the house, and police have taken a DNA sample from Myra Morton. We needed to get DNA samples from her to compare to evidence that we found in the scene here. Investigators say there's a second woman in the picture, in fact, a second wife a woman in Morocco who Morton apparently married this spring under Muslim law. Police have seized Myra Morton's diary detailing how she learned of this woman. In their search warrants, the DA quotes from Myra Morton's diary. She says her husband was acting strangely for quite some time. Quote, he never mentioned he was married, but convinced me to go to her country to marry her under court law. I went in February 07. I go give him the permission, because he argues with me when I protest this marriage. I run all over her country trying to get the papers together. He treats me different now while we're there. His whole world was her. Certainly, you would expect that someone's DNA would be in their house, but there are some specific items of evidence that we feel have relevance to the killing, and we're looking to, to see if there's DNA on there. Myra Morton told police she and her husband have a net worth of roughly $6 million, and she and their daughter are the sole beneficiaries of his will. She told police her husband was scheduled to leave home here in Whitpain yesterday to go to Morocco. Tonight, police and the Montgomery County District Attorney are not yet calling Myra Morton the prime suspect in this murder case. Among the items seized from the house, computers, storage media, financial records, including any money transfers to Morocco, and the murder victim's last will and testament. Live in Whitpain Township, Montgomery County, Vernon Odom, Channel 6 Action News.